he must have come three or four times with that tremendous big red root of a thing he has. I thought the vein or whatever the dickens they call it was going to burst, though his nose is not so big. After I took off all my things with the blinds down, after my hours of dressing and perfuming and combing it like iron or some kind of a thick crowbar standing all the time, he must have eaten oysters, I think a few dozen. He was in great singing voice. No, I never in all my life felt anyone had won the size of that to make you feel full up. He must have eaten a whole sheep after. <laughs> What's the big idea? Making us like that with a big hole in the middle of us. Like a stallion driving it up into you. Because that's all they want out of you. With that determined, vicious look in his eye. I had to half shut my eyes. Still, he hasn't such a tremendous amount of spunk in him when I made him pull it out and do it on me, considering how big it is. So much the better in case any of it wasn't washed out properly. The last time I let him finish in me. Nice invention they made for women, for him to get all the pleasure. But if someone gave them a touch of it themselves, they'd know what I went through with Millie. Nobody would believe me. Cutting her teeth too. And Mina, pure voice husband, give us a swing out of your whiskers filling her up with a child or twins once a year, as regular as the clock, always with the smell of children off her. The last time I was there, a squad of them falling over one another and bawling. You couldn't hear your ears. Supposed to be healthy. <laughs> Not satisfied till they have us swollen out like elephants or I don't know. Supposing I risked having a mother. Not off him, though. Still, if he was married, I'm sure he'd have a fine, strong child. But I don't know. Holdy has more spunk in him. Yes, that'd be awfully jolly. I suppose it was meeting Josie Powell in the funeral and thinking about me and Boylan set him off. Bleak and think what he likes now, if that'll do him any good. I know they were spooning a bit when I came on the scene. He was dancing and sitting out with her the night of Georgina Simpson's housewarming, and then he wanted to ram it down my neck on account of not liking to see her a wallflower. That was why we had the stand-up row over politics. He began it, not me, when he said about our Lord being a carpenter. At last he made me cry, of course. A woman is so sensitive about everything. I was fuming with myself after forgiving him. 